We back with another one, man. So I did the video. Big Meech had y'all scared. I said it wasn't nobody calling him a rat. None of that going on, nothing. And then Cuffy people said, hold on. <laughs> they said, hold on. <laughs> Meech ratted to get out early. But Meech didn't rat to get out early. So we have a conflict of interest on Meech being a rat or not. I'm going to play the video. I'm going to let y'all decide for y'all self. And then I'm going to let y'all know what I think. So this has started, right? Now, let me move myself real quick because... Y'all can't see her, cuz. So, this, uh, bop right here. You know it's always a bop. It, <laughs> bop start everything, man. Once a bop tweet something on Twitter, it's over with. You hear me? But this bop, she said, Big Me still a snitch. At the end of the day, my friend Tamara Lene Gatlin, daddy, not home right now, cuz he son like a canary. Ain't no honor in that. Free Cuffy. Hey, she say they saying free Cuffy now. Now, this way I'm confused at though. Right? So now I'm confused because Jabo from the Lou. And I, don't, I remember they got locked up again. I don't know if Jabo got back out or not, but that's where Jabo from. You know, that's what Nelly from. You know, damn, damn, baby, yo street in the rank. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know Nelly was, you know what I'm saying? You know Nelly shit. Nelly, you know, big representative of BMF, goddammit. But I never heard of the Cuffy dude. But they say Cuffy was the kingpin of the Lou. He said he gave me his first million. He said he had the life rights to the BMF movie. And goddamn it, Meech did a third party cooperation to whereas he set up Cuffy and the cartel. This is crazy. So we have a new character unlocked Kingpin Cuffy. And. Meech also got a new name, too. Because Cubby say his kids call this dude Uncle Meech. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Big Meech, Uncle Meech, Lil Meech. You know, I don't want y'all to get confused. You know what I'm saying? Like, who the hell is Uncle Meech? Uncle Meech and Big Meech is the same person. Lil Meech is Big Meech and Uncle Meech's son. You feel me? Y'all got to keep up. But, so, let's get into this. St. Louis natives claim... Big Me snitched on his 30-year friend, Dion Cuffy, for a reduced sentence. Now, I'm going to tell y'all the problem with, with that statement at the end of the video. I'm going to explain to y'all what really happened. Now, this is the paperwork. You know, whack 100 all on clubhouse with his booty out. <laughs> I got the work. <laughs> but I ain't got that work. I got some other work. You know, Wack 100 got this work, that work, but he ain't got this work. I don't know why, because this work all over the internet, too. Somehow, Wack 100 ain't found it yet. Booty all up in the air. You know how it is. You know how they be on Clubhouse, right? But anyway, this was the work that Cuffy provided, and Cuffy said this shows that Big Meech set him up to get picked up by the feds and the car and he set up the cartel dude the dude named Suarez another new character unlocked Suarez so we got Cuffy and Suarez make sure y'all remember them two names alright so look now this is the paperwork y'all can go read it if y'all want to it'll tell y'all everything y'all need to know then all right, I'm let y'all hear this. Christian deal to receive a reduced sentence in his case by setting up a known kingpin from St. Louis named Cuffy, 
Well, that's the word on the street, so let's get into that. First off, for all y'all who don't know who Cuffy is, he is a known kingpin from St. Louis who did business with Big Meech for over 20 years since 1990. And according to him, he is the first person to ever put a million dollars in cash in Big Meech's pockets. And as of today, he claims he was set up by Big Meech, which eventually led to him receiving a 27-year prison sentence. And he claims it all started when Big Meech was in Detroit's county jail when he got indicted in 2005. And while Big Meech was in Detroit's county jail fighting his case, he met a Spanish connect named Fidel Suarez, who had major connections to Mexican cartels out of Los Angeles, California. And Cuffy also claims Fidel was the first target who Big Meech was trying to line up so he can receive a reduced sentence. And Cuffy also claims that the person who Big Meech was using to line up Fidel, is it true Big Meech did a third? The complete um, truth. But. All right. So this is Cuffy daughter speaking on how they found out, you know, Meech set up her daddy, Kingpin Cuffy. Let's go. In 2011, around that time, Meech reached out to my dad in regards to creating a BMF movie. So he, Meech hooked my dad up with a woman named Tammy Cohens. At the time, Tammy was Meech's power of attorney. Also, hey. I don't know what's up with these Tammies and these Perez's. What's the other lady name? Desiree Perez, all that. Hey. <laughs> hey. Desiree Tammy, we're staying the hell away from y'all. I mean, y'all, 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 bold. Y'all brazen as hell, but y'all getting cartel, either taking down cartel and shit, getting drug dealers locked up. Y'all well, but let me get back to letting her talk. And we gonna, we gonna talk about Tammy later. She owned the life right. So my dad was working with Meech, Tammy, um, T, basically trying to work on a movie deal. So at the complete um, truth, but in 2011 around that time meech reached out to my dad in regards to finally arrested my dad and we received the discovery he knew exactly who cs1 was and he told me and my mom that it was tammy cohen's at that time we really did not want to believe we wanted to give meech the benefit of the doubt um it was really, really hard to believe that Meech would set my dad up. It was almost unbelievable. Um, so we we were able to like reach out, um, get a message to Meech, and basically let him know that Tammy was an informant. <clears throat> we later received a message from him saying that it had to be a misunderstanding um just call her she'll straighten this out um so on so on and at this time my dad was like i'm not dumb i'm not about to call an informant finally arrested my dad and we received nasty nasty system what made you tell now we finna get into what cuffy had to say now but before we do that this is the thing, right? I don't know what all Tammy was into, but apparently she was supposed to be a federal agent. Then she was sleeping with a federal agent. It's always a bopping bop. Y'all be, Booty, you gotta chill with the bop word. Booty, why you keep calling out the bops? Booty, with, is y'all seeing what's going on? These bops, the t listen, listen, listen. I done heard a lot of things in my life. These bops done took down cartels. And apparently, this bop done took down the, a cartel and Kingpin Cuffy. They just said Desiree took down a cartel. But she done took down a cartel and Cuffy. Man, you bops dangerous out, man. I'm trying to tell y'all. But let's hear what Cuffy had to say about all this. And he did what's called a third party cooperation. What happened was. This call is from a federal prison. Originally, I was put with Tammy. I paid for the script. 
nasty, nasty system. What Major Tammy did was called a third party cooperation. Sosa and myself, we were all, we all before all of that. You feel me? Right. Sosa is a day one nigga. You understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. And see, Meech, I'm the first nigga put a million dollars in his pocket. He never seen that till he came to the loop. You feel me? I heard he about you, dog. That. I heard you was just an oh, outstanding yeah, dude, yeah. man. Take care of your business and your reputation in a good way preceded itself. So I understand now based on from what we've dealt with and seen with this whole thing with Tammy, man. Speak on that for me if you can, because it's perplexing. Well, what they did, what Meech and Tammy did is called it because you're not in the system. Thank God you're not. I, like, I hate to see brothers in this system. But me brothers too, who are too. familiar with this system, it's a nasty, nasty system. What Meech and Tammy did was called a third party cooperation. What happened was... This call is from a federal prison. Originally, I was put, that's why 50, when he came in, because we, we put a assistant deceased order in through my attorney. That's why they couldn't do a motion picture. That's why you didn't see the BMF story on the on the big screen. So 50 ran it through that star shit that he ran that other corny shit he, that he do. So what happened was, homie, was I wasn't even the original target. They wanted to get a little Mexican. He's actually a cartel member out of L.A. named Suarez. You'll see his name. Suarez. In the Fidel Suarez. He was their initial target. You feel me? Right. He was their initial target. But with me calling in while they were trying to set up Fidel Suarez, she clicked over and told the Fed or the agents who was listening to her and Suarez, hold on, this it's is always Cuff. a buck. And when they heard the name Cuff, they w went fucking crazy. And that's when, when, when her and Meach turned the scheme toward me. You feel me? So what it did, what it did was, that's why 50, when he came in, because we, we put a, this was what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to give me a time cut for her cooperation and set me up. But also, it kills two birds with one stone. It puts me in jail, and now they don't have to split any of the revenue with me. My buddy and my partner along with me was named, his name is Louis Burrell. That's MC Hammer's big brother. That's who Tammy was coming out here to see. Yeah, you, that's that, that. That was me. That, and that was it. And I'm a the hell, MC Hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Hammer time. The hell, MC Hammer. MC Hammer, brother involved. They got big Hollywood people involved. The bops involved. Like, damn, that's the problem now. See, I'm gonna tell y'all the biggest problem BMF had all the way around. Dealing with too many people you don't know. That was BMF. I don't care what nobody say. That was BMF biggest downfall. And the problem is, if you want to scale that big, you have to deal with people that you don't know. And that was their biggest problem. It got so bad, niggas was just, they had federal agents dressed up like BMF members. Niggas that Meech ain't even knew. Meech just assumed, hey, if he got on the BMF shirt, he cool. That lets you know you dealing with too many people, bro. Too many people. And that was their problem. Now, my whole thing with Cuffy is, if you seen that they just took me, that I'm not, if I'm involved, why would I be shopping a BMF movie, a BMF anything? What kind of sense does that make if I'm still involved, if I'm still involved in the street? So let me get this straight. I'm shopping a multi-million dollar film, right? But instead of waiting on the pay and the cut for that or whatever to get that rolling, somehow I link up <laughs> with Suarez. You know what I'm saying? Link up with Suarez <laughs> and get locked and get and get booked by the feds. And Tammy being a federality that set it up, man. This is crazy, man. More of the story, man. Make your bread count and do your dirt by your lonely. Because when you dealing with people you don't know, bro, you going to jail. That's and I'm going to tell you the year. That was 2015. No, that was like 14. Yeah, way earlier than that. It started way earlier than that. Way earlier than that. Around 2020. Way earlier, bitch. Way earlier. Than that. I'm sorry, way man, early. We got to go way back. We yeah, we we yeah. we put fifty million dollars on the table through Lion, Lionsgate Films, through Louis Burrell's Connect, uh, because Louis is that uh, nigga, he a bait nigga out there, but he he fucks around, he really fucks Louis around. Louis Burrell really too, killed, huh? But he also fucks around in the movie industry up there. Now, what we did not know is that this was what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to give Meech a time cut 
for her cooperation in setting me up, but also it kills two birds with one stone. It puts me in jail, and now they don't have to split any of the revenue with me. My buddy and my partner along with me was named, his name is Louis Burrell. That's MC Hammer's big brother. That's who Tammy was coming out here to see. That's why Tammy would turn down that deal with me and Louis Burrell getting 20% of, of, of that budget. You understand what I'm saying? For a finder's fee. So what ended up happening was we didn't know that they had other plans and that she was sleeping with the feds and that and, 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 and that they would put me off in prison and run away with my script and don't have to give me anything. So it, it, it was supposed to give me your time cut and knock me out of my percentage, me and Louis Burrell out of our percentage for the finder's fee with, Louis, with, with Lionsgate's film. Well, Lionsgate's when Louis went so, so they backdoored us. Lionsgate's shot it down when Louis Burrell was no, no longer a part of it. You feel me? Right. So, Tammy's whole thing fell apart. Meech couldn't get a time cut because they found out Tammy has no, she has no credibility. Because when you can't have a relationship with a federal agent, now you have no credibility. So they thing blew up. They thing fell all the way apart and blew up. That's why Meech didn't get a, get a time cut. That's why Tammy would turn down that cut. But Tammy testified in open court that she signed up to be a DA informant to give Demetrius Flannery a time cut. This okay, so Cuffy said that Tammy stated in court that her and Meech set him up to get Meech time cut pay attention Cuffy also said they couldn't get me the time cut cause Tammy being a bop that she is <laughs> she done slept with the federal agent so me she didn't get the time cut bruh look long story short even if me did this it, it, even if he didn't know whether he did know or he didn't know, they wanted Suarez <laughs> end up getting Cuffy. If they never would have dealt, if Cuffy never would have dealt with Suarez, this probably wouldn't have happened. Does this make Big Meech a rat? We gonna get to that at the end of the video. Call is from a federal prison. Special Agent Keith Cromer testified that Demetrius Flannery knew about this whole thing, but he just wanted to keep his name out of the out of the documents. The special agent told Flannery that 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 he could not do that. He could only do that if Cuff don't go to trial. And with Cuff's record, he can't afford to go to trial. You understand what I'm saying? Correct. How Cuff you a kingpin can't afford to go to trial? <laughs> you see, that, that's, that's what I be talking about, man. You had people prosecuting like that. They don't even really know them. We was going for Suarez. Cuffy started dealing with Suarez. We got Cuffy. I don't even know if they got Suarez, but it's all in the paperwork. Tammy ended up sleeping with a federal agent, so her credibility gets shot, and the whole plan her and Meech had didn't even work. Why would they still give me your time cut? I'm going to get to that. I'm going to tell y'all about that later. But in the midst of all of this, she ends up flipping on, uh, on the special agent Keith Cromer, and the whole deal went in the trash. So that's why we had the, my, 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 my beautiful daughter that you, that you talk with, my son, and my other daughter. They look at this nigga, call this nigga Uncle, homie. Uncle Meech. <laughs> call that nigga Uncle Meech, man. Now, from my understanding, you guys reached out to him when the paperwork came down. She said that you knew who the CI was and you told her and your in her in her mom and you guys sent a message to Meech. What was his response when this stuff came down and you were like, yo, bro, what, what's going on? What, what was what did you get from Meech? When I was when I got locked up, homie. And, 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 and when I seen where this whole conspiracy was coming from, I laughed at it and I didn't believe in it. And I knew that Meech could come forward and kill the whole conspiracy. Just saying that, that the conspiracy is based on Meech communicating from Tammy, sending me a truckload of drugs. It's all made up from jail, homie. He could have killed this whole deal. They never had my, 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 my beautiful daughter any drugs. 
You understand what I'm saying? But that's how conspiracy works in this system, in this nasty system. But when Meach shot down the offer, uh, when my uh, we sent my attorneys out, he was at F, uh, uh, FCI Lumpock in California. And he responded back to my attorneys that he didn't want to have nothing to do with nothing. And he didn't, and, and he stopped communicating with them. So then that told my attorneys right there that Demetrius Flannery is a part of this whole deal. And I. All right, now look, I ain't, I'm not the smartest person in the world, right? But if I'm Big Meech and I'm trying to get out, why would I let them put me back? in court to basically testify on some drug stuff. Cuffy, love you like a brother. Hell no, I ain't doing that, nigga. Is you crazy? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I wouldn't have did that either, nigga. I would have stopped talking. Listen. I would have stopped talking to your lawyers too. Listen, listen, listen to the logic behind what you asking this man to do when he already got locked up for it before you. See, I think they did the bait and switch game, right? Hey, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I think it was a whole lot of bait and switch going on. But I don't know. Let me let me keep going. Couldn't believe it. You feel me? Hmm. So that's what that, that's what his response was, that he don't know nothing about all this. Well, well, Demetrius Flannery has been locked up since 2005. And how are you my unindicted? He's listed in my paperwork, homie, as my unindicted co-conspirator serving 30 years at F, FCI Lumpock in California. How are you in my paperwork, man? And how are you this this famous drug dealer who's in magazines and books and any drugs? You understand what I'm saying? But that's how conspiracy works in this system, in this nasty system. But when Meach shot down the offer, uh, when my uh, we sent my attorneys out, he was at F, uh, uh, FCI Lumpock in California. And he responded back to my attorneys that he didn't want to have nothing to do with nothing. And he didn't, and, and he stopped communicating with them. So then that told my attorneys right in movies, and you are in, in, in bed with a government informant that testified in court that she uh, cooperated and set your nigga up, a 30-year partner, to give you a time cut. How are you this celebrity drug lord, but you in bed with, this, with, a, with a government informant? And how you not, how do you not know about this? And you you, you in my documents is my co-defendant, my unindicted co-defendant. Movies. And, and said that he wanted... All right, now, this was when Blue Da Vinci had when on Cam Capone... Because he knew the whole Cuffy story or whatever. I ain't going to play the Camp Capone video. But y'all could go over there, you know, whack in the whole clubhouse against Blue now because they said he took a safety valve. And my whole thing with whack is you knew that Blue had a safety valve before you even got told that. You flipped on Blue because Blue is cool with Big U or whatever, whatever that got going on. You know what I'm saying? On Pyru, you don't like Big U. Ain't anybody cool with Big U you don't like. <laughs> on Pyru, right? You know what you know doing? But, so long story short, y'all could go watch this on the Cam Capone. Informant. You know what I'm saying? Blue Da Vinci. After David. It broke down everything, basically, that Cuffy just told y'all. And Cuffy called in on that, too. This is the problem, though. Today, I don't know how, everybody claim they got Meech release paperwork. Says nothing about Cuffy. Says nothing about setting nobody up or none of that. It says some rules got changed. He at the halfway house. That's what it say. When he get out, I think he got like five years of probation, something like that. But that's what it say. So my whole thing with this Cuffy situation is, is that I don't know if Meech has something to do with it or not. Because even Cuffy say the plan fell through. So my whole thing is if the plan fell through, then what the hell are we talking about? Like, if it didn't work, bro. If it didn't work. See, so, so, cause see, this is what I want people to understand. Cuffy is not in jail because 
of me. Cuffy is in jail because somehow <laughs> them targeting Suarez somehow led to Cuffy and the girl Tammy. Even if she was me, spokesperson, whoever, movie rights, whatever, whatever. You see what I'm saying? When she slept with the agent, the plan fell through. So, I can't really, st I still can't say meet your rap, man. That, that's the conclusion I came with. I got, uh, until somebody show me something different, bro. Because my whole thing is, if you participate in a setup, and the setup don't work, then how did I snitch on you? How am I rat? How did I tell on you? It didn't even work. Even if Meech did try to use that to get out early, that ain't how he got out early. So even if he did do that, what did he get from it? Nothing. So I don't know, man. In my eyes, my conclusion of what I done came to, Big Meech is not a rat. Take it how y'all want it. I see a lot of people saying, keep uh, put Meech back in there, let Cuffy out. I see a lot of people saying, F Cuffy, free Meech. You know what I'm saying? Or welcome home Meech. You feel me? Like, it's, it's divided. My opinion is, me still ain't no rap, bro. Cause none he did had nothing to do with why Cuffy in there now. They if even if they did put it in the paperwork and all that, he said me to shorty plan fail. So that was a probably leading up to it, but it's not like Meech went in the courtroom and said Cuffy did X Y Z. It's not like Meech told them yeah Cuffy moving bricks and I see that's what I'm saying. There's none of that. Yeah, you can read the paperwork and it say the CI and the number and the, and the dude that had 30 years and woo, all that. All that's there. But at the same time, bro, it don't say me told on you. You see what I'm saying? Like, like he said, it was a third party cooperation. But it don't even say that me said you were selling drugs or anything. So in my opinion, Big Me's not a rat. Y'all get in the comment section, man. Let me know what y'all think about all this. It's your boy, Buddha. I'm out.